Kaes po tayong magdala ng minsahe ngayong umaga na pinamagatang God is mindful to men. The word mindful is concern, attention. God is so concerned to men. God give His 100% attention to men. When we speak about, talk about men, that involves male and female. So we are here, mga batid, because God is so mindful to us. Clap your hands to God if you believe what David had written, mga batid. Without doubt, all these ideas concerning the unique status of humankind were looking into all of them lead to a position far removed from many modern concepts of man which have led to confusion, despair, violence, and shame. But humankind was commissioned by God to have dominion and to fill the earth and to subdue it. Merong kaguluhan, mga batid, merong confusion kung ano ang sitwasyon at kalagayan ng tao. Ngunit ang sinabi ng Biblia, ang tao ay inutusan ng Diyos ayon sa ating binasa na kanyang pangungunahan ang lahat ng mga bagay nandito sa lupa, ilalim ng karagatan, ibabaw ng karagatan at sa kahanginan. Mga, mga, mga nilikha ng Diyos na lumilipad, lumalakad, lumalangoy ay ibinigay ng Diyos ang kapangyarihan sa tao. Mahabadid, God said, you have all dominion to this things that I have created for you. And you need to fill the earth and to subdue it. Yun ang dapat nating maunawahan sa kabutihan ng ating dakilang Panginoon. Mr. Pascal said, Man is neither angel nor best. Far from being on par with this best and yet, Unlike the angels stationed on earth, humankind and humankind stands under God above creation to order and direct it as God desires. Wow! Nung binasa ko yan, mga batid, doon lalo nating maunawaan kung ano ang layunin ng Diyos sa paglikha niya sa atin na ang tao raw ay hindi anghel o isang hayop. Malayo din siya mga kapatid na maging kagaya doon sa mga hayop o maging kagaya sa mga anghel mga kapatid. Hallelujah. Ngunit sabi niya ang mga tao ay nakastation dito sa lupa nilagay dito sa lupa upang pangunahan na katayo ilalim sa pangunguna ng Diyos at ibabaw sa lahat ng kanyang nilikha. Take note. Tayo ay nakatayo, ibabaw, nakatayo mga kapatid, ilalim sa ating kap sa kapangyarihan ng ating Panginoon. Ngunit tayo ibabaw sa lahat ng nilikha ng ating dakilang Diyos. We stand under God, but we are also standing above God's creation. That's human, mga kapatid. Tayo yun. Nakatayo tayo ilalim sa kapangyarihan ng Diyos pero nakatayo din tayo sa lahat na nilikya, nilikha ng Diyos. Ibabaw sa kanila for what purpose to order and direct it as God desires. Time will come dahil sa kasalanan mga kapatid. Dahil sa kasalanan, pagkabagsak ng tao, merong pangako ang Panginoon na millennial reign, 1,000 years of peace. We are going to give orders unto Derek, all the animals, all the fishes in the oceans and rivers, all the birds flying, mga kapatid, all the birds walking, mga kapatid. Darating ang panahon, hallelujah, hindi magtatagal kung anong ginawa ni Adan doon sa Garden of Eden. Inuutusan niya ang lahat ng mga hayop, pinangalanan niya ayon sa kanyang gustong ipapangalan, nasira yan dahilan sa kasalanan. But sooner or later, mga kapatid, itatayo muli ng Diyos ang millennial reign and we are going to direct those animals, hallelujah. And it's coming so very soon. So don't give up. Don't lost your role. Don't lost your job. 
job according to the purpose of God. Merong plano ang ating Panginoon sa ating mga buhay. Babalik ang kapangyarihan na minsang nawala at ito'y bibigay muli ng ating dakilang Panginoon sa bawat manampalataya sa Kanya. Clap your hands to the Lord Jesus. Hindi mo na kailangan na mayroon pang trainer para makinig sa iyo. During the millennial reign, one that is 1,000 years of peace, sa panahon ng araw na yan, si Satanas ay gagapusin ng Panginoon. Kaya nagkaroon na lang kaguluan ng Garden of Eden ang sunod na mga lahi dahil si Satanas ay nandito sa lupa. Kaya ang lahat ng pinagmula ng kaguluhan, karamdaman, kasalanan nang gagaling kay Satanas. But don't worry, si Satanas ay natalo na ng ating dakilang Panginoon. That's why we can shout the voice of triumph. Shout with the voice of victory. Jesus has conquered. The enemy is defeated. Satan is under our feet. Satan is under our feet because Jesus has conquered. Millennial reign is coming. Kaya tinawag niya na millennial reign that is 1,000 years of peace. Saan si Satanas ginapos ng Panginoon? Bakit gagapusin siya, Pastor? Wala bang kapangyarihan ng Diyos? Kaya nga, mga kapatid, gapusin siya para ihulog doon sa isang kalalim-laliming hukay na walang hangganan. Ang tawag doon, bottomless pit. Kung meron kayong tinatawag na bottomless drink, Meron ding bottomless pit. Si Satanas, tatalian ng Diyos, ihulog doon sa walang hangganang hukay sa loob na isang libong taon. Aywan ko gaano kalalim yan, di ko alam dahil isang libong taon mahuhulog siya, walang tigil. Gaano kalalim yan? Isang libong taon. Here comes the days again. Parang kay ng umaga. 38 years. How many days? Ito, 1,000 years. Ihulog si Satanas. Ilang araw yun. Pag, pag sabi ni Satanas, tulong! Walang tigil. Tayo saan? Sumasakay sa elipante. Tayo saan? Nakipaglaro sa mga liyon. Tayo saan? Sumasakay sa sawa. Sabihin mo sa sawa, gumawa ka ng piriswil, gagano ng sawa. Kasi ang sawa, lahat na mga nilikha ng Diyos, mga mababait yun. Walang nilikha ng Diyos na mabangis. Kaya nga nakipaglaro si Adan sa mga hayop, si iba, mga kapatid. Walang ginawa ang Diyos na mga mabangis na hayop. Naging mabangis na lang ang hayop nung pumasok si Satanas. Walang taong mabangis, mga kapatid. Walang taong mananakal. Walang taong mananaksak pumapatay. Naging ganun na lang ang tao dahilan kay Satanas. Kaya kailang gapusin si Satanas para yung dapat nating masaksihan sa Garden of Eden. Yung dapat nating ma-experience, mga kapatid. Ibabalik ng ating Panginoon yan. Kaya habang tayo nag-aantay. Why? Because God is mindful of His promises. Do you hear me? Inalaala ng Diyos ang kanya mga pangako na ikaw ay siyang magahari at magdirect sa lahat ng kanya mga nilika. God is so mindful. Si Satanas, nagahari pa ngayon. Para kung pag tumitig ka sa ahas, mag-ingat ka na. Tung! Tuklaw. Kasi nanunuklaw na ang ahas. Pag makakita ka ng leon, magpray ka na. Kuling panalangin mo na yan. Kakagatin ka, kakainin ka. Pero during the millennial reign, come on, lion. Let's go to Baguio City. Sabi ng leon, maggrab ka na lang. <laughs> Sabihin mo yung pating, balina, sumisid tayo sa ilalim. Sarap niyan. Punta tayo sa El Nido. Punta tayo sa Kurun. 
Punta tayo sa Manila Bay. Sabihin ng balinuwag, mamatay tayo dyan. That's God's beauty of His creation. From the very beginning of time, God put humankind to work in the most responsible position imaginable. Ibig sabihin, kaya mong gawin. Pero ngayon, ang hirap mga kapatid. To do this, God blessed them and thereby added ability to status and equip men and women to function as His agents on earth. The creation was a going concern with men as the helm. Paul and Elizabeth Artemir captured the wonder of it all. Look at this. Man as created by God is a glorious creature. Wow. Glorious creature. Beautiful in his form. Lordly in his dominion over the earth. Favored in his relationship to his creator. Far from being an insignificant smick or small dot lost in vast universe. Man is the exalted and glorious high point of all God's good creation. Kung meron mang mga magandang planita, buwan, araw, mga bituin, mga kabatid, lahat ng mga galaxies, lahat ng mga bundok, yung Mount Everest, mga kabatid, yung Iceland, mga kabatid, ang sabi ng imba, ang ganda, pero ang sabi dito, mga kabatid, wala nang pinamakagandang nilikha ng Diyos, maliban sa tao. Come on! You are glorious! You are favored! You are Lord over God's creation. And you are the most important of God's creation. Clap your hands and shout to God and say, Thank you, Jesus. Oh, shout to the Lord. The most exalted and glorious high point of all God's good Creation. Wow, that is man. The writer of the letter to the Hebrews wrote, By faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. And the psalmist wrote, By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, for he spoke, and it was. Binanggit lang ng Diyos ang ganda ng creation. Sa pamagitan ng kanyang salita, lumabas, lumantad ang langit, ang lupa, ang mga bituin, ang araw, ang buwan, mga kabundukan, karagatan, mga ilog, mga pananim, lupain, mga kapatid, ka, lahat ng uri ng mga hayop, lahat mga uring hayop na lumilipad, gumagapang tumatayo, lumalakad, lahat ng uri doon sa karagatan, mga isda, mga kapatid, nilikha ng Diyos, pero wala nang higit sa kanyang nilikha na siyang tao, mga kapatid. It was so good. Nung nilikha ng tao ang Diyos, wala siyang ibang nakikita. It was so good. Oh, thank you, Jesus. With great delight, God surveyed His creation. Light was scrutinized and pronounced good. Ah. Earth and seas lay under with His all-knowing gaze were found to be good. The grass, the herb, and fruit were tasted and affirmed as good. Wow. Turning his attention to the boundless expanse of space and the myriads of galaxies, he approved the immensity and it was good. It was good. So it went on until finally, man, male and female, 
stood before him and heard the sweetest word. It was so good. Come on, hallelujah. They basked in his satisfaction. They were all he wanted to be. Then God saw everything he had made. And indeed, it was very good. Come on, in the name of Jesus. You are not created bad. You are not created ugly. You are not created nonsense. You are not created a lousy person. God said, you are good, sister. You are good, my brother. Hallelujah. God is so mindful to you and to me. I was created by God. And God said, it was so very good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Man was created in God's image. His holiness, his righteousness. That's why you are good. But the devil told you lately, you are bad. The devil whisper you lately, you are a liar. The devil mock you, you are not good. Your ugali is not good. You are nothing. You are nonsense. You are useless. But God said, despite of the talks, despite of things, that are not good from the devil. God will still say. You are good. Come on my good sister. Come on my good brother. We are created in the image of God. Come on. Hallelujah. That's why I told you this morning, our Sunday school, there was a good seed and there was the tears. Ang itinanim ng Diyos sa atin ay pawang kabutihan. Kaaway lang ang nagtatanim ng masama. Kaya please, go back. Think. Understand. Realize, wake up. God said, I am good. God said, it was so good. There's no time to listen to the devil. There's no time to listen to the opinion of other person. You are here because God is good. Hallelujah. And I am here because I am serving. I'm trying to be a good one to God. Can you give a good hand of praise to the Lord? Come on. Give a good praise to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, let's work this way. Kaya ilang bisi sinabihan ka ng iyong tatay o nanay na ang sama mo. Wala kang kwintang anak. So sometimes the parents are not mindful. No concern. No attention. Pero wala pa tayong narinig mula sa Diyos that we are of no good. Wala pa tayong narinig na minsan na sinabi ng Diyos, kayong tagapark, wala kayong mga kwinta. Pero madalas nating marinig sa loob ng tahanan, wala kang kwintang anak. Suwail ka na anak, ang tigas ng ulo mo, 
Bakit ganito ka? But God is so mindful. But God is full of concern. But God is full of attention. Na kahit anong sasabihin ng mama mo, papa mo, ate at kuya mo, classmate mo, kaibigan mo, kamag-anak mo, kapitbahay mo, God ay walang sinasabi na masama ka. Walang sinasabi ang Diyos na sinungaling ka. Walang sinasabi ang Diyos na wala kang kwenta. In the eyes of God, you are still good! Come on, shout to God and say, Thank you, God! I am still good, hallelujah, because God is so mindful of us. Raise your hands and worship the Lord. I can feel the love of God in the house. I can feel the mercy of God. God wants you to feel His love tonight. To, to, God wants you to feel the love of God. Jesus. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Ano pang meron sa tao? Bakit inaalala mo siya? God said, I made him so good and I cannot allow things that I have made and created will be destroyed. Especially to the highest form of my creation. A glorious, <laughs> the most exalted, exalted and glorious in high point. When somebody mentioned and told you and tell you that you are not good, never mind. Never mind. Because our Father in heaven is so mindful of us. Wala kang dapat ikapanghina, kapatid. Wala kang dapat ikapanghina, young people. Wala kang dapat ikakalungkot ang tao nagsasabi ng di mabuti. Mga tao nagsasalita ng hindi mabuti. Ang mga tao mas gustong pakinggan yung masama kaysa mabuti. Ang buhay ng tao doon ngayon nakapuko sa masama. Hindi nakita ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Huwag kang magpadaya bakit walang ginawang masama ang Diyos. Ang ginawa ng Diyos ay pawang mabuti. Baguhin mo ang isipan mo sa hapong ito. In Jesus name. Name. Don't dwell on the evil things. It's time for you to dwell in the good things of God. Minsan naghanap pa tayo ng dagdag na ebidensya. Anong sinabi niyang masama? Anong sinabi niyang masama? Anong sinabi niyang masama? That is wrong. Hallelujah. The devil will always tell you bad and evil things. But my God will tell you, hallelujah, our God is full of love. Don't dwell on the evil side. Dwell on the good things of God. Come on, shout to the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, people of God. You need to understand everything was good. Kung saan yung mabuti, hindi natin inahanap. Kung saan yung masama, doon tayo nagpapagod. Mabibigtan mo ka lang yan. Walang ginawang masama ang Diyos. Ikaw na lang nag-iisip ng masama. If you will dwell on the goodness of God, everything will be alright. Anyway, hindi matay na rito para i-appreciate lang ng tao? Hindi matay na rito para sabihin, ang galing mo, ang usay mo, ang bait mo. Hindi yan ang ginahanap natin mga kapatid. Nagpakukunwari lang din yan sila nga nababait ka. Walang totoo sa atin ang ating kabaitan nang gagaling sa ating dakilang Panginoon. Come on, we are trying to be good because our God is good. We are trying to be kind because our God is so kind. We are trying to love our people because our God is alive. Shout to the Lord!
I'm almost done, ready to close. God's seal of approval in His creation is highly significant for those who honor Him and the things that He has made. No person, if you will hear this, is insignificant. And no part of the created order is it without meaning. Kung di ka na importante sa kanila, importante ka sa Diyos. Kung hindi ka na mahalaga sa kanila, napakahalaga mo sa Panginoon. Kung hindi ka na karapat dapat sa isang pagtingin, sa Diyos, nakatingin siya sa iyo palagi. Come on, rejoice in the Lord and be happy. Amen. Hallelujah. You are very important in the eyes of God. God is watching you. You are good in the eyes of God. Only the devil will tell you that God's creation was not good. Only the devil. And Eve listened to the devil. That's why Eve was, she was a victim. As a church, we need to understand. Give me the next slide. Next slide. Ants! Alam niyo ants? Ano yan? Mga langgam! Don't have dreams because they never sleep. Kahit sa gabi. Yung mga langgam. Kahit may nasalubong yan, nagbabatian. Minsan yung kasalubong na nagbatian sila, isasali pa papunta doon, sumama na rin pabalik. Ants don't have dreams because they never sleep. Pigs don't know the sun and the moon because they can't raise their heads. Ang baboy hanggang ganun lang. Ang, ang, ang. Hindi talaga makatingal lang. Wala. Next slide. Butterflies don't celebrate birthdays. They only live for 47 days. Come on, man. Come on, tao. Akala natin maganda ang paru-paro, no? Akala na okay ang mga langgam, no? Akala natin okay ang mga baboy, no? See how God created us wonderfully? So celebrate life and ev celebrate everything before complaining! We are in the highest form of God's grace, yeah! Come on, Sister Elaine! Come on, young people! We are created by God! Gloriously! You are created good by God! And we complain so much. And we more and more so much. Next slide. I will praise thee. For I am wonderfully. I, I, I am fearfully. And wonderfully made, marvelous either works, and that my soul know it right well. Why? Because you are created by God so good. Walang masamang ginawa ang Dios sa atin. Opinyo lang ng tao. Sabi lang yan ni Papa, ni Mama. Pero ang Diyos walang sinasabi sa iyong masama. Ha? Mabuti ka pa rin sa harapan ng Panginoon. Dahil kung hindi tayo mabuti, wala na ang Diyos sa ating mga buhay. Wala na ang nagmamahal sa atin ng Panginoon. Kaya ngayong hapon, mga kabatid, purin ang Panginoon. Napakabuti niya sa ating mga buhay, mga kabatid. Hallelujah. Ants 
No dreams. They don't sleep. Pigs. Not able to see the sun and the moon. Butterflies. Cannot celebrate the birthday. And birthdays because they will only live for 47 days. But what is man? What is man? Anong meron sa'yo? Hindi rin masaya ang Diyos na puro paro-paro na lang. Hindi rin masaya ang Diyos na puro langgam na lang. Although they were also good. Para na yung taong nakita niya. Wow. It was so good. Pag makita ka ng Diyos na nagpupuri at nagsasamba. You're so good. Wala nang higit pa sa iyo. Sa mata ng Panginoon. Come on, understand your position today. Habang ginagawa ko ito kagabi, mga patid, I just remember the word so good. Sasabihin mo ng mister mo o ng missis mo, you are not good, never mind. Because God is mindful of you. You are a good man and a good woman, a good husband and a good wife. You are a good daughter, you are a good son. Hallelujah. Pwede bang itaas natin ang ating mga kamay sa Panginoon? Sige po. Umpisahan nating isipin. Ano bang masamang ginawa ng Diyos sa buhay ko? Ano bang meron sa buhay ko na hindi mabuti? Wala akong nalamang ginawa ng Diyos sa akin ng masama. Lahat ng nakita ko at napansin po kapawang kabutihan. Ang, magsa, ang mga tao lang nagsasabi masama ang Diyos sa buhay mo. Wala kang kwinta, wala kang pag-asa. You're in nonsense. Hallelujah. Wala kang mood. You're out of place. You're out of mood. You're out of order. No, no, no. God said, you are good. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ilagay natin sa ating isipan palagi yan mga kapatid. I am good. God created me so good. I am a good man. You God, God, you created me so good. So fearfully and wonderfully, oh God. God, thank you so much that you have created me fearfully and wonderfully. You have made me, oh God, and I will give you thanks, and I will give you praise, and I will give you glory, and I will worship you because of your goodness. Can you shout to the Lord this afternoon? Can you lift up your voices to God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Don't worry, young people. Don't worry, brother. Don't worry, sisters. Just give your best to God. Just give your best worship to Jesus. Just give your heart to the Lord. And everything will be alright. Come on, try to open your mouth and start worshiping the Lord. I'm done, mga kabadid. It is, it is enough for us to know that God is so good to us. We are created by God and He said it was so good. Hallelujah. Hanggat ngayon, di pa rin nagbabago ang mga nilikha ng Panginoon. Hanggat ngayon, church, hallelujah, napakabait pa rin ang Diyos. Napakahusay pa rin ang Kanyang paglikha sa atin. I love you, Jesus.
It was so good. It was so good. It was so good. Walang yang people, walang nanay ni tatay na mga anak ng Diyos na hindi nilikha ng Diyos ng mabuti. Minsan nasaktan tayo dahil sinabi, sinabihan tayong wala kang kwinta, wala kang halaga. Minsan sabihin pa tayong, sinabihan pa tayong lumayas ka na. But remember, God is mindful. Minsan sa mga magulang din, pinagsabihan na ng magulang, wala kang kwintang ina. Wala kang kwintang ama, pinagsasabihan din tayo ng mga anak. But don't listen. God said, it was so good. I am here to encourage everyone. Don't be discouraged. Ano mang mga mababat panliliit na mga pananalita na maridig mo, stand tall. Just stand tall. And start start thinking. God said it was so good. It was so good. Sino yan para sa atin yan?